So guys, today I got for you a review on a very special perfume that also happens to be my most favorite perfume discovery of February 2023. So make sure to keep on watching this video to find out more about it and don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up if you love finding out about new and beautiful perfumes as well as feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. And once you're done with that, we can get started! Hello and welcome everyone to the review on my most favorite perfume discovery of February 2023. That's the newest release by the brand Ormond Jane that is called Sakura and it comes in a stunning bottle like this. I absolutely love its design, that's why I even tried to match my outfit to the way it looks. So let me know how well I did down below in the commentary section as well as if you're familiar with this brand because I personally own quite a few fragrances from it and even have an interview with their creative director and founder Linda on my Instagram. So in case you missed that one, definitely check it out down below in the description box. You'll find all the health information and links to my social media. But on that note, let's get back to the stunning fragrance Sakura that immediately gives us cherry blossom vibes. And in fact, it was inspired by Hanami, the symbolic Japanese springtime tradition of reflection, appreciating the transient yet eternal beauty of flowers and of life. So this Japanese and Asian style fragrances are very particular because their vibe is transparency, so very light. So let me know if you have fragrances like that in your collection. I personally do own quite a few fragrances like that myself and I find they are very wearable because they are easygoing, light and radiant and Sakura is not an exception. Actually, the minute I smelled it, I fell in love with it because it is truly captivating and so well blended it's hard to pinpoint the notes in there. Actually, I smell stuff that's not even in the notes right down, but let me run you through it real quick. So in the top there are green notes, citruses like for example bergamot, lime, mandarin, even some fresh spicy notes such as coriander, pink pepper, but the heart is full of flowers. And I feel like it has two faces. One is very Fresh. There is cherry blossom, cyclamen, water lily and freesia and they are almost dewy. But there is another deeper side with rose, with violet and osmanthus that add more depth and powderiness to the fragrance that is accentuated in the base by cedar, sandalwood, musk. There is touch of ambery vanilla and tonka bean that I personally don't get much of. I feel they are there for, you know, the overall complexity and this fragrance changes quite a bit and believe it or not, I was actually so surprised that in the opening, which is actually my favorite part, but don't get me wrong, I love the powdery dry down, but in the opening, let me just spray myself with it, I love, you know, like that juiciness of mandarin, the crispness of green nuts and fresh punch of spices, but I also smell something animalic in there. And I know it's crazy to say that because there is nothing animalic in the notes, but maybe it's from musk, maybe it's from sandalwood, or that can be some element of spiciness that gives me some really sexual, and I am talking very, very sensual, animalic feeling. It smells super duper sexy, although fragrance is rather useful and romantic, being so floral, which it um, smells of later because we have lots of flowers and it's like you're going out on a very lovely spring afternoon and those cherry blossoms are floating in the air that is full of floral freshness and you can kind of even feel those very delicate uh, petals against your skin and afterwards you go to some modern cafe, order like um, a rice powder dessert that you enjoy over the cup of matcha tea. And that is just my imaginary. I'm thinking about those notes because sometimes they are present in the fragrances that I inspired by, you know, this whole Japanese rice and matcha tea like um, tradition. And I personally smell those 
notes in here but probably it's just you know some beautiful accords that go into one another because the fragrance is very multifaceted in the opening refreshing juicy citrusy it is light but powerful very floral and powdery so it's an easy grab for me i've been enjoying it all month long and i think um, i will be wearing it even more when the spring comes because it's truly useful and enigmatic also quite interesting that i would say it's unisex so men and women can enjoy it which is not a common thing for such a floral fragrance because usually they lean more towards feminine side but i would say this fragrance is so special that not only it's my most favorite perfume discovery of the month it might be my most favorite fragrance from this brand and one of the best perfumes i personally own so it's such a discovery for me that i highly recommend everyone especially if you're in england check it out go to the perfume boutique and just smell it if you're out of england get yourself a sample or even blind buy a bottle that looks so pretty and the fragrance is absolutely gorgeous wearable you can enjoy it in the morning it's long lasting which is another great factor about it being so light powdery delicate youthful it lasts pretty long and i smell the sillage myself such a compliment getter because there is just right amount of sweetness and those sweeter fragrances they're always mass appealing but this one is truly luxurious and not gourmand at all which makes it truly elegant. So I'm head over heels about this discovery and highly recommend you guys to get your nose on it. And I would say that uh, it's one of most exquisite fragrances and probably most interesting fragrance I've smelled from this brand Ormond Jane that is known for very luxurious niche but safe fragrances that come in boxes like this. And I truly love this vibrant color. I have quite a few other fragrances from this brand and I will link my reviews to those down below in the description box as well as other health information. For example, you can get uh, Ormond Jane perfumes from online boutique Equation Natural and I even have a discount for you. So definitely enjoy it. Now it's the best time to wear it. It will put you in a very romantic mood and I just love it and can't recommend it enough. But on that note, let me know how you enjoyed this video. Maybe you were interested in this beautiful fragrance Sakura. So I hope this video was interesting for you. And in case you enjoyed, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to drop me a comment below if you're already familiar with any Ormond Jane fragrances and what are your favorites. Maybe you can recommend me something that you personally love and I want to know what's your most favorite perfume of February 2023. On that note, if you have any questions left regarding this fragrance or anything else, I'm here to answer them. So let's chat down below in the commentary section. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media to stay in touch. And uh, yeah, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you are new here, activate the bell and make sure to stay tuned, smell good, and we will see each other next one really soon. Bye guys!